Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with another Dragalia Lost video today. Thank God, I just got finished with work, and right when in the middle of work they released a video for the promotion for Cage Desire, the Persona 5 collab event. So I'm just going to look at the video. We're going to go through the video, talk about it, because as you know, as I said previously, I'm a big Persona 5 fan, so I kind of want to go crazy about all the details that are specifically in the trailer. Um, if you want some specific dates, I'll put them up front, just so people who want the info can get their info. Uh, the event starts January January 30th and it goes to February 11th. It's if I'm gonna assume there might be some free multis. There's some other stuff to look at too, so we'll look at that stuff after we go through the video. But that's when the event's officially coming. So we're gonna look for this video. Get look. I'm gonna get a little hype about stuff, and hopefully I don't get copyright struck. <laughs> that's gonna be today's video. I hope you like. It. If you do, leave a like, comment about who you're looking forward to, who you think is gonna be the free unit, because that's definitely something. Of the four, I feel like it's down to... Actually, I think, honestly, it could be any one of them, and I'll kind of explain as I see some of them. So let's get into it. Let's start the trailer. Let's roll. All right, so here's a start. I am going to pause occasionally through it, so... Ladies and gentlemen of Dragalia Lost, did we startle you? The Phantom Thieves of Hearts are here to change hearts and something else. And then we get a cool logo here, and we reveal the four characters. Um... They're going to be shown pretty soon, so I don't want to just say them right now. <laughs> There's Joker, of course. Uh, Anne. Arsene right there. Oh, so good. The fact that they went to that far for this trailer. and I'm... There's Joker. His element is um, Dagger, as expected. His two moves, which we're going to look at real quick. I'm going to see if I can slow it down here. Yeah, playback speed. Super slow. Just so we can see it in a little bit more detail. Alright, skill 1 seems to be a jump ahead. Skill 2 seems to be taking way more time to get going before he gets going. And there you go, it's a gunshot. Alright. Some of them are easier. For his, I was like, I have no idea. And then, of course, he summons Arsene the bead right next to him. Sophia, who is the character from um, Persona 5 Strikers. Her skill's right there. And now it said she was an axe unit. Um... She doesn't look like she's using an axe. It, it, we'll see it a little bit more later in the trailer, but also it looks like she also gets her persona right there. But uh, Mona, who is a sword, he gets to turn into the cat bus. I didn't get to see his second skill because cat bus is just too strong. All right, he shows a little thing right there. And then, of course, his is Zoro, and it shows up right there. And there's Panther, aka Anne. She is a... Oh, man, can we just get a real quick rip in the chat for her being a fire spear unit like there's so many fire spear units that are just never gonna you know obviously not everything is about meta but damn having to live in the shadow of galamim is something else oh wait one moment because i think my boss might be texting he did text me and he just wanted to say good job good job Wookie. so let's continue the trailer so there's Anne. She gets Carmine, of course. I am really glad, and I'm the Pillage of Twilight Arsene. I am so glad that they actually included every single person's persona. Because I was like, oh, I don't know if they're maybe going to go Dragon, but for them to go the extra mile... And it's funny because we're only getting Arsene. It's not like we're going to get a summonable Zoro. Um, let me go back here just because I want it. It looks like Emil will be Monarch Emil. I like this because I feel, obviously... <laughs> Uh, so the first boss in Persona 5 is Kamoshida, and he has a similar getup, except for Emil is wearing more clothes. So I actually liked, if that was an attention to detail, I'd like that attention to detail. Um, full-on story, good. Man, the more I look at the full-on story thing, it's just such a bummer that Mega Man never got that. Oh, this is so good. Now here's the first thing I will say is a bummer. I wish they had, maybe they can include any of the Persona 5 Strikers bosses. Um, but this is very clearly a reuse of Daily boss, <laughs> the collab. Uh, oh man, oh, this... Let me go back to those worm prints. The arts on this worm print are very good. I kind of wish that there was more of the Persona Five crew in here, but it's fine that they keep them just to the characters that are in the game for now. Some very good emotes, some very good guns. That is just straight up an Uzi. That is straight. It's a weapon skin that's straight up just a gun <laughs> for your mana caster. <laughs> Oh man, stickers are so good. 
It really is. So that was the thing. So her right there, she is an axe unit. I'm not sure if she's currently in her persona, because I don't know what her persona looks like, but that looked like yo-yos to me. Again, this is something because I don't know much about Strikers. Funny enough, big fan of Persona 5. I've been waiting for Strikers. So yeah, that's the event itself. So I wanted to talk about specifically who I thought might potentially be the free character. So up until now, um, I think everyone's kind of assuming that it is going to be... Where is she? Sophia? Um... But the more I think about it, I think it's actually kind of up in the air of who it could actually be. Um, Joker is probably the least likely to be the free character just because he's Joker. He's the one that most people would just summon for. He's the one who was at the Game Awards getting into Smash Brothers. So I could see him being the banner unit. Um, Sophia is from Persona 5 Strikers, so she would make sense to be the free unit of the uh, entire thing. Mona um, or Morgana. I think actually Morgana has the biggest, next to Sophia, if it's not Sophia, I would say Morgana makes sense, mainly because Morgana in terms of Persona 5, even though Morgana does turn into a cat bus, which I find cool, a lot of people actually really do not like Morgana, even with his uh, added development in the Persona 5 Royale, but that's not the version of, Persona 5 Strikers takes place after the events of Persona 5 and not Persona 5 Royale, so... None of that development that some people liked about him is in the game. Uh, and I actually think Anna has a pretty good chance of being a free character, too. My reasoning is is that why the hell would you make another Fire Spear unit as a banner unit? Stop releasing these. Um, it's really funny. I think really Fire Spear has maybe some of the some great women behind them. And every single one of them... I mean, listen, she was going to have to be... Um, fire regardless because that's her fire that's her um element in persona so she was gonna always be fire but to make her spear is just you're putting up again again we'll have to see how her kit is for all i know she could easily outshine galamim but based on collab banners collab units are very good on release and then kind of age out a little bit and then they get their um mana spirals and they become amazing um don't know if that'll happen to these, but I actually think that she has, after seeing what element they gave her and what weapon, I think she has a pretty good chance of being the free character too. And then if there was a fourth character, I think has a chance of being um, the free to play. So in my mind, Joker has the least chance, and then right next to him is Arsene. Um, if Arsene was someone that you could be to the side of you, um, I think they would make him a gotcha summonable unit, but because it's Arsene is someone you turn into, um, I think that actually makes it so he could be a free dragon or something, and then they make all the banner characters. The only thing that I think goes against that exact train of thought is that um, if you get sparking, there's a 0% chance that you'll get a good dragon, I think. But yeah, that's my current thoughts. They look awesome, this looks awesome, and now let's actually go into some more info real quick. All right, and here we are in the news section to talk about some stuff that was not in the trailer specifically. So daily free tenfold summons are going to be back. One moment. The, roost the roosters were freaking out. Anyway, the daily ten free summon will be coming back. Um, a daily free tenfold summon event, which will allow you to perform a tenfold summon on the applicable summon showcases for free once per day starts on 1.30 at 2.22. So event duration is... From 1.30 to 2.06. Showcases available during the daily free terms. So I think that Persona will probably be a part 1 and part 2. Just because they're saying showcase. Available during the daily ten. Hmm. Maybe it will just be 1 actually. Who knows. You can perform a tenfold summon on the free. On the applicable summon showcase once per day. Each day from 10pm to 9.59pm. The daily free tenfold summon resets each day at 10 p.m. For more information about summoning, check here. Um, I don't know if they can make a part two. I mean, assuming there's... Mm, have we had four featured in a while that's not been a gala? It's been a while, but they might for collab. Who knows? I could have swore the last time for collab they split it into two parts, which was Monster Hunter. Obviously, uh, Prick Home doesn't count, and I, yeah, no, and even Fire Emblem Heroes was, yeah, okay, yeah, no. It's gonna be, a, there's gonna be a part one and part two, I think. 
it, well no basically when the event launches itself but i'm assuming that um this is the cage desire bonus um login bonus content day one a five worm print cage desire day two it's showtime sticker day three gold crystals day four mana day six damascus ingot day six otherworld leblanc curry <laughs> great they found a way to put in leblanc curry that's amazing day seven blessed ethan ashes day eight sunlight stone day nine rupees 100 million and day 10 tenfold summon voucher times one not bad not bad um and then cage desire upgrade events Double drop rates, half stamina, which is going to be good for people who are just joining in. Avenue to power. Special adventure gates for every element. Okay. Also, this does take place. 130 is five days after the update comes out that lets us have... Um, that will have the summon available for people who are brand new to the game. So that's very good for people who are re-rolling or looking to start the game fresh. Uh, and I'm excited. It's going to be, what, it's going to be eight days from now, so, and I'm pretty sure this starts the same day as the, um, as the Dokkan anniversary as well, so I'm going to be very, 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 very torn apart in terms of summons. But hey, I'm extremely excited, I hope everyone else is. Oh man, this is my time, this is the time to shine, I sure hope I don't get screwed over because, man... Valentine's is going to be coming right around and it's going to have limited units. And now I know what you're saying. What potential Valentine's unit could they offer to me, Wokey, that would be. that would go above Persona 5? Persona, one of my favorite JRPGs out there. The answer is if they have Valentine's Day Mim. It's the idea that a potential new limited Mim to show up is what scares me at night, honestly. But anyway, that's the end of today's video, everyone. I hope you've been saving, because the time of saving is about to end. Till next time, everyone, you guys have a good day, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.